Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We are back playing Risk of Rain 2 and the artifacts update has dropped. We have it right here with us now. I was mentioning it in the last episode. I asked you guys what you guys wanted me to do in terms of my save file or another. You guys were pretty, uh, pretty insistent that I should just use this save file. I think I had like four or five, maybe even more people say use the current save file and only one. I think one person was the was the only one that said use a new uh, save file. So we're going to be sticking with my current save file. People said they want me to try out artifacts. Um, we need to unlock those first. So artifacts are game modifiers that can dramatically change the way it's played. Artifacts can be found in the world in secret location. Uh, challenges can still be unlocked while artifacts are enabled. So we have to have a little look. If we go back here, we might be able to have a little look at maybe how some of these are unlocked. Let's have a little look-see. So, as you'll see here, these are all the items I've got unlocked. There's still plenty that I need to unlock or haven't seen yet, like these ones here. Um, and a few here. But for the most part, I've got the vast majority of items unlocked. But we can have a look, maybe, on challenges here and see... See if we can find out. Activate six turrets in a single run. That's a new one. We do have some new items. I believe we have six new items and a few new active items as well. Complete 20 stages in a single run. Still haven't done that. That's a very difficult one to do. Um, it, it takes a long time as well. It takes about two hours, maybe more. Um, enforce consecutive stages. Do not leave the teleporter radius until it is fully charged. Okay, that seems fairly easy. Um... Destroy 20 flying rocks in the Sky Meadow. The Sky Meadow is a new area available here. Um, open the time security chest. Still haven't done that one yet. And here we go. We've got a lot of new ones here. Okay, so this is this is all new skills and new um, new skins that we've got here. So we've got as commander clear the, uh, the first stage in less than five minutes. Uh, obliterate yourself at the obelisk on monsoon difficulty. Huntress, collect two, uh, collect 12 crowbars. These are some of the older ones and some of the newer ones at once. Uh, obliterate yourself at the obelisk. Uh, defeat two beetle queens without leaving the teleporter zone. Um, clear 20 stages in a single run without picking up any lunar items. That's not too bad, but 20 stages is also the long road achievement, so it's going to take a long time. Land the killing uh, blow on an overloading worm. They're kind of rare, so that'd be difficult. Start and finish either rally point delta without falling below 100% HP. Damn, that sounds difficult. Okay. Uh, as Huntress, land six bounces with a single glaive. That's not too bad. Um, land the killing blow on an overload with... Boom, okay. With the accumulator. Obliterate itself on the obelisk. And then here's all of the new ones. I believe all of these ones are completely new. Uh, so we'll take a brief look through these. But the main ones we're going to look at is the art. These are the artifacts. So we want to look at the artifacts. See if we can find those. So these are just going to be ones to unlock new skills and skins. Let's see. Um, we've got some of the acrid ones here. Um, and we've got some of the trials. Okay, so maybe some of these trials are how we unlock them. Um, it looks it looks very much like that. So trial of the soul, trial of death, trial of vengeance. Yeah, it seems like these are all the ones we need to do. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us any word of where to find these trials. So I'm guessing we just jump in and try it out, shall we? So we played as the commander last time. We had a pretty good run, but I honestly I didn't go too hard and I didn't play very risky at all. Uh, but this time we're gonna play as the hunter. I really like the hunter. I think she's very good. She can fire while sprinting, which is really nice. But one of the best things about her is she's got this ability, which I'll show in just a second. Let's see if I can find it. Let's take care of you. So basically, she has like an auto-aim feature. But she has this ability where she can jump into the sky and um, rain down fire. We can actually use it on this guy that I can hear down here. This. And its cooldown has been reduced from 17 seconds to 12 seconds with this update. So that's going to be very, very nice. Ooh, the new lock on um, lock on targeting system thing looks very nice. And then we also have a glaive we can throw, which bounces between enemies and does a bit of extra damage. And then instead of having a roll, we have a blink. So that's going to be helpful as well. Ooh, yeah, I really like the new targeting UI. They've, they've, they've updated that UI for the little targeting circle. I really like that. So we'll get ourselves an active item here. Always want to be trying to get an active as early as possible. They're very, very useful in this game. We got ourselves... The Royal Capacitor, call down a lightning strike on a targeted monster. That's going to be really nice for a little bit of extra damage. The por uh, portal is right there, so we've got a good bead on that. We've got a level 2 chest up there. I'll go for that. I think they introduced some new monsters and chests as well. So we've got to look out for those too. Gasoline there in the 3D printer. We've got soldier syringes here. I definitely want to go for the soldier syringe. 
are very, very useful. As you saw last time, we built up a lot of those, and you can really see how they uh, become very, very good. And as you can see, we've got a little Q-targeting thing now to target an enemy with a, a lightning ball from this royal capacitor thing. So we'll use that on this guy here. That does a lot of damage. That's going to be very, very useful. I, I see you there. I really, really love the Hunter. She's just so fun to play. She can get some crazy abilities, and then her um, her ability to rinse her from the sky can proc a lot of stuff for you. I can see that there's a... Another one of those little pods over there. So we'll go over, over here and get that. I'm loving this being up more often now as well. This is really nice. I know I missed both of those with that one, but <laughs> whatever. Right, get that. Boom. Oh, I'm loving that. That's on a three-second recharge. Oh, no, I, I was reading the wrong one. I thought it was on a three-second recharge, and that would be insane. It's on like a 20-second recharge. That's pretty decent. Get you. See how much this is? Probably about 50. Yeah. We got that for 50. We got ourselves the bandolier chance on kill to get a little thing that we can pick up to refresh all of our cooldowns. That is very, very nice. So now we're going to make our way back through here, I think, um, and see if we've got any chests around the back. If we've got any chests around the back here, we'll get a few. There's one. I'll get that one there. And then we'll just activate the teleporter. I know there were some, um, some things above us that we didn't manage to get. Okay, now we have two uses of our glaive. That's even better. So we can get two of those going at once. I'm just going to use that on that guy there. <laughs> get destroyed. We could activate that turret, and that turret will shoot anything nearby. It'll also spawn wherever we spawn on the next stage too, so that's kind of useful. But I'm not going to go for that for now. We don't quite have enough money, and I want to try and get through this stage a little quicker than we did last time. I think we were on about six minutes last time, so we were quite slow, actually. And we'll get these guys. We can throw two glaives here, and you can see that little thing on their body there is a bandolier. That's actually had an updated graphic as well, so I like that. And as you can see, that fully refreshes all of our cooldowns. The more bandoliers we get, the more of those drop out of enemies, the higher chance. Very, very useful. But just look at look at that damage. Look at that damage. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I'll go get this chest over here. I did take a little bit of fall damage there, actually. And we got ourselves... Uh, bustling Fungus isn't great. That's kind of... That's kind of 3D printer fodder. Um, unfortunately, that only works when standing still, as you'll see now. Gives us a little healing circle if we're standing still. Very, very hard to make usage of, apart from in certain stages and as certain characters. For the most part, I don't really use that, though. Let's boom on him. Right, let's get over here. And I think now we can activate this without having to miss out on too many chests. I mean, I could go up there and get the rest of them. But for now, I'm just going to stick with what I've got. Let's open this up. What are you giving us? What boss are you giving us? It's going to be the flying boy? No. Beetle. I like the beetle. Wow. That just does so much damage. That's insane. And I love having this reduced cooldown on the um, on the, the raining arrows. It's so nice. It's such a good ability. I'm really liking this. Really liking this. Okay. There's a lot of enemies near us here. We need to make sure we stay in radius in terms of... Uh, that should be the boss just about done. Right, let's let's try and let's try and beam myself away here because we are taking significant damage. We might be able to get a little bit of healing from bustling fungus here, actually. Just before any enemies get to us. So I will take the time to do that. And then we'll use this. The good thing is as well, we can use that ability that I just used there to kind of get away from certain enemies. And we will finish this guy off with one of these. There you go. He's dead. And the item we get today is very, very nice. The Rose Buckler, whenever we're sprinting, we uh, get damage reduction. And you can you can fire while sprinting as this character. So that's incredibly useful. Incredibly useful indeed. We need to be careful. Our health is still low. Let's get some of these going. We'll slap one of those on you. I'm loving, loving Bandolier right now. It's so powerful for us. So, so, so very powerful. My health's almost back up. We can actually probably stand still for a little bit here and get a bit of bustling fungus going on. Just get ourselves back to full health a little bit easier. There you go. And there you go. We've fully done this floor. In fact, I'm just going to go right now. I don't want to spend any unnecessary time. I think it was six minutes before we even activated the boss last time. So getting out of the floor before six minutes even hits is a lot nicer. And we should still just be about in easy. Yeah, we're in easy still. Makes this second floor a little easier. And we're seeing a new floor here. We've got the wetlands. Wetlands is a difficult one. There's some enemies in this area that I find particularly difficult. Um, but the main difficult part, for me at least, isn't even the uh, enemies. It's that the teleporter is always so hard to find. Like, the teleporter is always so, so hard to find in this area. I, 
I always think at least. Uh, so we'll have a little look around. I remember when the game first came out, like first came out on alpha, they didn't, oh hello. Uh, I don't know why I did this because I can't actually hit you, can I? I was a bit stupid, got him there. Uh, we actually crit that guy then, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, so when the game first came out, the little like red things, the little sort of particle effects that surround the teleporter, they never used to exist. The, the teleporter was just an object and there was like nothing around it to tell you it was there. My god, I, I had stages where I spent quite literally 15 minutes looking for the teleporter only to find out it was half merged into a random tree. In Specifically this stage was terrible for that because the tree branches look so similar to the little spikes on top of the teleporter that it was often so, so very difficult to find it. Take you out the sky. I'm absolutely loving the Royal Capacitor here. It's doing insane damage. And we've got a level 2 chest there already. And we can actually see that the teleporter is just over the other side of this wall. So that's very nice to find out so early on here. So we know where we're going for that. What we're going to get here. We're going to get Fuse Cell, which is really nice. Um, fuel Cell actually means we can fire off another... Um, another active ability so we can charge our active ability twice just like we got for the um the magazine for our uh, glaive we've got another one of those for the royal capacitor now so we can actually fire off two of those at once once we've got both of them charged which is going to be very very nice and as you can see we've got two charged now we'll go check what's going on over there we've got a healing drone here i don't actually need that yet though i don't think we'll stay away from that for now for now i just want to be Spending my money getting through all of these chests that are scattered about. I want to go for the guaranteed chest first before I do the chance shrine though. We got ourselves another backup magazine, so that means we're getting three charges on our glaive now. Which pairs very nicely with Bandolier, as you can imagine. So we can get that guy with one of those. And get you with one of those as well. Finish you off with that. That's a really nice one combo there with the Royal Capacitor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really, really liking that, using that quite a lot to deal a lot of our damage. We, this is a hard area to find chests in because they're kind of buried into the ground here. But we got this, which when we kill, we're going to get a bit of extra health regen, which is lovely. We'll get ourselves our Bandolier there. Unfortunately, Bandolier won't affect our charge rate of our um, active item. But that's kind of understandable because that would be insane. We got ourselves Leeching Seed, which is going to be really, really, really nice for, um... Okay, we just got ourselves some really good stuff here. So we got Leeching Seed, which is going to be really nice, because every hit gives us healing. We had that last time, and we're going to see that our Reign of Arrows is really going to give us a lot of healing. But we also just got the Warhorn. Whenever we activate our Active Item, which is pretty damn regularly, we get a massive attack speed boost. So we will see that come into play quite often, and as you can imagine, the faster we're firing the more uh, healing we're going to be getting, so they kind of pair nicely together. I think we've got another Soldier Syringe there, so we're definitely going to be taking that. Don't even care what the other two are. Soldier Syringes are far too important for me right now. But I'll, I'll show you a good example once we get a few enemies about. Okay, there's a guy. Watch. Use this. Look how much faster our fire rate is now. I mean, I can't even show it because there's no other enemies about. It was kind of stupid. Whoopsie. But our fire rate for the next eight seconds after using that goes up by quite a bit. More soldier syringes. Honestly, considering this episode and the last episode, we've had a lot of soldier syringes. And I'm going to tell you, that's not common at all. These are soldier syringes. They're not rare, but they're definitely not as common as this normally. This is this is a very, very much a rarity. So in here, we've got two question marks. I'd rather go for the question mark. Tri-tipped dagger um, is going to mean that we can deal a bit of poison damage every now and again. Okay, lovely. And I think we'll make our way for our boss now. But you'll you see, look at the extra fire rate we have now. Wow, that's active. That's so nice. That's so very nice. Right, so we'll activate this. In fact, I'm gonna, just going to wait a little bit until both of my royal capacitors are ready. Make sure we don't have any other enemies about. There you go. We'll activate that. Then we'll jump into the air. We've got a Wandering Vagrant, actually. Jump into the air. Do that on that guy. Make sure we get the full the full potential out of the extra fire rate. Fire off three of our glaives here. And then get the next Royal Pass data going. Okay, we need to get behind a rock or something here. Otherwise, that attack will hurt a lot. Okay, this is really hard to hit if he's not close to the ground. But there you go. That boss was, was just destroyed. And we've got an in incredible build going on here. So we are going to be wanting to try and make our way over to, um... 
We're going to be trying to want, um, want to make our way over to wherever these hidden things are. Ukulele's great, by the way. Ukulele, every time when uh, we hit an enemy, there's a chance that electric will chain off it towards other enemies. Very, very nice indeed. Right, beam on these guys. Yo, fellow, what's up? <laughs> destroyed, my dude. We're destroyed. I got a few more boys up here. But yeah, we're going to be wanting to find wherever these hidden realms are. If any of you are playing this update and know where to find them to get these uh, artifacts going, please do let me know because I'll be very, very excited to test those out and find out because we're going to be wanting to sort of beeline for unlocks as soon as possible here. Gonna take a few of you out. Make sure we've got our cooldowns, which we do. And then we'll be heading out of this level. Again, we're kind of... We've been speeding through these levels pretty quickly without going through the entire level of the chest. But I think last time that was our mistake. We let it get too hard too quickly. We didn't move quite fast enough. And I think that, yeah, that was definitely a mistake. So now we're on to this stage. Um, Rally Point Delta. This one isn't too difficult. Uh, there's some bull enemies that are quite difficult. But they have actually, with this update, had their HP reduced. Which is rather nice because they were very, very tanky. Run past you. Again, immediately what we're doing here is just looking for chests. These imps have also had their health reduced, which is nice and going to capacitate you. And just get this going. No chests so far, which is surprising. We've, we've, we've kind of been through a lot of the level and not seen any chests at all. But we'll, we'll keep making our way through this tunnel. It's good to rule out areas, I suppose. And there's our teleporter over there. That's another good thing about this. We found our teleporter straight away. And here's some chests down here. There's actually like five chests with a really short radius here. So we can get those going. We'll take you out. Get you two going. And what have we got available? We've got lens maker glasses. So I'm going to go for them, I think. Extra critical chance is very, very nice. Then on this one, we have the teddy bear, which is probably going to be the best bet here. Where's all my enemies at? Bring them on me. Come at me, bros. Come at me. That should be enough to get our teddy bear going. Teddy bear, of course, giving us a slight chance to negate damage. Very, 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 very nice indeed. And we've got a normal chest here as well. This guy can go. And there's a bull. We'll use our capacitator on the bull. Get him taken care of. And there you go. Bulls going down very quickly here. I am loving this build. This is just insane. I mean, Risk of Rain 2 is just one of those games where you can just ball out of control completely, like, randomly. And I love it. And make sure that bull goes down. We did get set on fire there. Fire is probably one of the most prominent killers in this game. Um, it is very, very effective against you, so you have to be careful about getting set on fire. More damage against bosses, 20, a flat 25% there. Very, very nice. We've got another bull here, which we'll take out with that. We've got a lot of these enemies here. I'm going to make sure we're keeping on top of these with our Q ability, which we can pretty effectively do. We get ourselves a Luna coin. That's sort of nice as well. Got ourselves Sun Grenade, which actually got a pretty big buff. Now it just um, it gets affected better by proc coefficiency. So there's certain items in the game that have different proc coefficiencies, so they proc differently, and it gets better affected by that now. So it should more reliably proc when it should. Here we get a guaranteed healing item because it's a healing chest, and that is another one of those. So even more health regen after a kill. Very nice to see. Another backup magazine, which is actually insane. I haven't really been using my glaive all that much. But now we have four of them. So we probably should. <laughs> we have so many glaives. It's kind of insane. Having three backup mags this early on is unprecedented, really. Use that on that guy. Take out you. We're getting a lot of elites. I think they changed how our enemies spawn a little bit and made it so there's more elites. We could get another backup magazine, but I'm actually thinking going for the uh, extra damage here is probably the best bet. Um, right. I don't know if there's any chests back here. We spawned back this way, but yeah, there's some stuff we can get over here. Take you out. The bleed effect is so good. Get us off this chest here. We've got some goat's hoof. I love goat's hoof. Just gives us a flat movement speed increase. Movement speed is kind of everything in this game because getting between chests, opening things up, escaping danger, finishing levels quickly, it's all a really, 
really big part of this game and very important, so I'm glad to have extra speed there. Uh, we'll check this little area here, and then as soon as we've checked through this, we'll make our way over towards the teleport, because we've been on this level a little longer than the average level so far, I think. I don't think we need to worry about many, any of these enemies particularly. We haven't got any uh, elites, I don't think. You can see that the uh, ukulele is every now and again affecting all the enemies in the area, which is, of course, very nice. Get that there. Normally, there's a little thing that can spawn behind here, so I want to just check for that. Yeah, there you go. I'll activate that. That is basically a Luna shop and allows us to spend our Luna coins. I will try and remember to go through the portal. As you can see, I have an absolutely heckin' ton of Luna coins. I, I spent a long time gathering those up. A long, long time. I spent, like, four hours just, um, like, speedrunning through the Obliterator, which gives you, like, ten coins, and just doing that over and over and over again. Like that for an entire day. Oh, Morland's Maker Glasses is lovely. We'll use one of these machines. See if we can get something good. I'll take that. Guillotine is really nice. Uh, elite monsters have, a, like, a health threshold now. So now if they fall below 20% HP, they just instantly die. And that counts for bosses that are classed as elites too, which is really nice. So I'll activate the, the teleporter here. Make sure these are taken care of. We've got a magma worm. Magma worm's kind of difficult. Depends on where he is, though. So... Wow. That's... I'm going to take care of these bulls first, because these bulls could be a real big problem if we don't. There you go. Got rid of them. So this guy is actually quite hard to deal with for the uh, hunter, because we can't actually deal too much damage to him, really, just because of how he spawns. But our Royal Capacitator can hit him while he's underground, so makes that easier for us. And we got ourselves the Ruland Band, which is just like the Kairos Band we got last time. But instead of fire, it's going to be spawning um, ice. So it's rather nice, as you just saw there. Hit that guy with some ice. So we've got to remember, instead of pressing the teleport this time, we're going to go through the blue orb. There's going to be a blue portal that appears. We're going to be going through that instead. Oh, this is such, such a fun build we've got going right now. Such a good build. Where are you? You're trying, aren't you, man? You're trying. You really are. Nimp here. Don't worry, though. We've got an insane fire rate. Uh, once you get to two of those war horns as well, it goes from like 8 seconds to like 20 seconds. And just, it makes it so it's basically up all the time with certain activations. Love that. Love that. Okay, these guys. Glaive a few of you. I haven't really been using my glaive too much, but honestly, we just have so much damage elsewhere that we don't have to. It's just nice to have them as an added extra. So now we'll go through our portal here. Enter blue portal. So now we'll be taken to a, a, a sort of shop of like a shop of sorts that has lunar items, which are items that usually carry more power but with an associated risk. So we do have to be careful about what we're taking here. This is most likely the area in which we'll find our new secrets. So we have to be uh, vigilant of anything that's new. So we've got our implod here. I know we can target him, but you can't actually kill him. Uh, we have a few different things here. Um, honestly, none of these appeal to me at all. I don't want any of these because they're all rather risky. Here we've got two trades where we can trade in three white items for one of those or five green items for one of those. That's an alien head, basically reduces all our cooldowns. Considering the setup we've got right now, I'm absolutely fine with just not having that. Um, and this area, let's go to this one here. So basically this lets you choose what stage you go to next time. So we can click dream. And now our next stage we travel to will be... Uh, will be that stage that I picked. I prefer that stage because there's, there's a chance that a boss spawns that gives you a guaranteed legendary. The chance of that happening for me is just too good to pass up. So now when we go back through this, it should take us to the appropriate floor. I didn't I unfortunately want anything from the shop uh, there, but I think that's fine. Let's head through. As well, the, the difficulty meter is paused while you're in that shop. You don't have to worry about that. But yeah, there you go. We come to Siren's Call. So this new area, uh, well, I say new area. This is new as of the last update. This this is a fairly hard area, actually. You've got to be careful of this area. Um, there's certain enemies that can do a lot of damage. We have a wandering vagrant just chilling here, look. In fact, I think we can relatively destroy him. 
Yeah, he's doing his big blast, but don't worry about that. We can we can get out of the way of that pretty easily. Okay, the the, the birds that you can see, the, the the little falcon things, are the main worry for me right now. They are very, very damaging. Okay, we got rid of him. Good, good, good. That's a significant amount of money off the bat here. Uh, we definitely want to be dodging out the way of that guy. So the birds, it's, it's actually quite lucky we've got our Royal Capacitator here because we can, for the most part, take them out of the sky and not have to worry about them too much. We'll make our way around and try and get some chests. There's one chest here. This is a golden chest. Ooh, we'll save up for that. So golden chests do have guaranteed legendaries in them. We definitely want that. So we'll wait for these guys to come down. Come on, frog boys. What are you doing? Oh, we have a green one of these as well, which is nice. We could go for another Warhorn, which I think we'll probably end up doing, actually. But we need to save up 2,000 first. That's quite a significant amount. Let's try and find our teleporter first. So we have a lot of chests about here. This area is usually a bit more full of chests than others. I can hear enemies spawning, but I can't see them. There's a bunch of these uh, little mini wandering vagrant type enemies. Okay, we've got some money here. These normally don't give a lot, but all money is good money. There's another one here. We have a drone there as well. No, thank you. Doesn't look like we have it over here. We do have another one of these available. I mean, I might as well go for it considering I have the money. Lunar coins aren't really an anything to worry about for me now because I've just got so many of them. If you guys think that's unfair and think I should maybe reduce the amount I have, I do know how to do that. Um, like, I do know how to get rid of them in my save file. So if you guys want me to have less and try and struggle for them, then... Please do let me know, and I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make the appropriate changes. Because I can understand how some of you may think it it is a little bit overpowered, just, just having all of them all the time. I can understand that. Right. So, we're getting closer and closer. We're not there yet, though. But let's get up here. We're just not getting a lot of enemies spawned yet. I mean, they will come, surely. As you can just see, lots of them have just spawned here. Lots of them have just spawned. You see that little white bar on his health? Once he reaches that threshold, we'll watch this now. Wait a minute. I'm going to throw a glaive at these boys. He just instantly dies, as you see. Good, good, good. We'll refresh one of those. And we've got our teleporter somewhere near here, maybe. Ow, that was a lot of damage. <gasps> oh my god, I almost died. Okay, that was close. I did not realize there was a jellyfish so damn close to us. We do have a Lunar Pod over there as well. Um, I should maybe go and open that. Lunar Pods are just like the shop items from that Lunar Shop. Let's have a little look-see. There's some of these that are really good. I do not want that. That replaces one of your skills. I don't want it. So, I don't know where the teleporter is, actually. I thought it'd be, like, over in this corner, but it's not. Okay, we got the Alloy Worship Machine to spawn. We need to go and kill that guy. He's a pretty tough boss, so we do have to be prepared. But this is the guy I do believe that gives us the um, gives us the extra legendary item. So let's find him. He's over there. Look, he's pretty he's pretty tough. Like I said, he's not exactly a pushover. But I do think with the with the equipment we have right now, we should be just fine to kill him. Right, let's take care of these guys. These beds are kind of pushovers for us now. Actually, I do want that ammo there. Right. Alloy worship machine, what are you doing? Right, take him out with that. Unfortunately, we can't really hit him with our, like, raining from... We need to be really careful of these jellyfish. They, they, they're they going to do insane damage to us if we don't pay attention. In fact, I'm going to get back a little bit and just make sure we're not getting pushed by random enemies here. Because... That could be really bad for us. You see all these jellyfish that are just slowly encroaching. Now, them, them enemies are going to be bad for us. We need to take care of those pretty quickly. I'll take care of them like that. Remember, we get a lot of healing from doing that as well, if we can actually hit an enemy with that. Honestly, the main way we're going to be dealing damage here is... Um, of course. That guy get a lot and a lot of extra armor when he does that. Uh, the main way we're going to be getting uh, our damage off on him is with our Royal Capacitator. So I, I'm, I'm tempted to just kind of wait for that to be ready and do that. Okay, get out of the way of that. I hit him while his armor was on. That was probably a bad idea there. Right, we should be able to get him with this now. 
and we can throw a bunch of these just at random things around the area. Damn it, he timed that perfectly to counter-attack. Wow, there you go. Okay, he's, he's doing a pretty good job of actually staying out the way of most of my attacks here. So we're not doing great against him. But as soon as that rock past it, it comes back up, we'll get another big chunk of damage on him here. And that'll get us a chunk of damage. Get out of the way of that. So as you can see, he is relatively tough and tanky. But we're getting through him slowly but surely. We do have a pretty powerful build right now, so we're not having to worry too much about the damage he's dealing. Oh my god, I say that and immediately take a fuck ton of damage. Wow. We need to kill stuff for the uh, extra regen that we get. You bastard. Right, let's let's try and run away for a little bit and, and slowly heal up here. In fact, I may even use Bustling Fungus. Dude, what the hell? I might die here. Oh my god, I blocked it. I got a block there. Right, let's get some healing going on here. Okay, good. Our health is back up to a decent amount here. Almost got him there, but not quite. Just keep moving. We're in a, a sort of touchy position here. Good, 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 good. Okay, them guys hitting you is very bad. Okay, we got him. We got him. I did get Froze there, but we got ourselves a very, very nice legendary item. We got ourselves a ceremonial dagger. Uh, which, if you don't know what that does, as, as you just saw, when we kill an enemy, it'll fire another Herming Dagger at another enemy, and it leads to some really, really good chain reactions that lead to quite a lot of extra damage. So we'll take some of these out. This is going to be kind of a slow floor for us, because we have to deal with a lot of different stuff. Okay, what are you still doing here, dude? What are you still doing here? We need to go and get our legendary chest. So here's another legendary for us. This time we got plant a healing fruit on kill. Okay, I don't, and that's actually might be new, because I've never seen that before. Um, it sounds new. So when we kill an enemy, it plants a healing. Oh, okay. So we get a little circle of healing on the enemy's death location. That's interesting. I like the idea of that. So if we if we sort of lay out uh, an area where we get a lot of kills, we can get a lot of healing stacks up. That's very nice. I like the idea of that a lot. So we'll go for this. What's that? We got ourselves... Ah, that's not very good. Unfortunately, when we kill an enemy, we just get a bit of extra money. Doesn't really help that often. Uh, we want to be going up top and getting ourselves a few extra bits from up there. As I said, this is going to be a slow floor. I'm willing to take the extra time to get some of these chests here. We've got a utility chest over there as well. Rusted key is nothing special. I've got so much good stuff, though, at the minute that I don't really want to 3D print at all. Two rusted keys, of course. Okay, a few of those. Seems like the healing lasts a decent amount of time as well. I like that. That's a really interesting one. I'm assuming the more of those you stack, the bigger the radius of that healing effect. As you can see, though, get a little nugget of gold there. <laughs> Dash, go. Right, let's keep moving. I want to go and get that air. Uh, the, the, the other war horn that we saw, and then after that I'm willing to leave. If we can find our teleporter, because we still haven't found it yet. Please go away, guys. Please go away. Yeah, there you go. Get gone. <laughs> Old stealth war kit is very nice. Okay, get us off our next horn. Oh, I picked up the wrong one. Falls. It's fine, it's fine. That's still that's still good. It's not bad at all. Right. So where on earth is our teleporter? It must be down here in the cave. There's a cave just here. It must be in here. No! We won't lose a lot of damage for that, although I just majorly, majorly crapped up there and landed on this thing. Can I get back up from here? I don't think I can, can I? Okay, we got, we're going to have to play the waiting game here to get back up. My mistake. Right, where the hell is this teleporter? This pesky thing. It's down here, look. Okay, 
all the way down here. Is there any chests just around here in this area before we activate it? Doesn't look likely, actually. Right, so let's get this going. This could be difficult depending on the boss. A magma worm could really prove to mess us up. Don't know why I ended up launching so far there. Um, what we got? Ooh, yes, we have a glacial boy. This guy, this guy's gonna be bad. Oh, there's multiple of them too. Oh, there's more than one. These guys are gonna be really, really bad for us. Um, in fact, I do think these will kill us if they hit us, which they will. The good thing is, they have a damage threshold. As you can see, they, they, they will die before actually reaching minimum HP. So I'm going to go up here and dive on this thing and just get the hell away and do some uh, do some healing up, I think. I will, I will gladly walk away from that just for a little bit. And just, just, just do some, just do some healing. I think they can come up those jump pads too, so we've got to be careful about that. Bloody hell. This is just a nightmare. God damn, there's so many enemies. We've already defeated, I think, two of them, maybe? Oh, wait, the, 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 the planted fruit thing just stays there. Okay, nice. Take care of you before you become a problem. Ow, what the fuck just hit me? Oh my god. Right, let me get over towards my fruit. A little bit of extra healing. Okay, the fruit... The fruits are kind of weird. But the healing is, is insane. Right, let's get back down there. We, we, we can't just let them run forever. Because that's just not the way this is going to be played. Right, let's throw some discs at him. Is this the last one? I don't think it is. It can't be. Oh, it was. Nice one. Nice one. So we've got ourselves another war kit. That's nice. A little bit more protection here. And we'll just chill out here. We've got to remember there's another blue orb spawning, so... Make sure to not forget about that. Wow, so our defense isn't exactly the best right now. But we have good healing. We've not got really good much mitigation, but our healing is good. Right. So let's get head into here again. Let's have a little look what's for sale. We've got ourselves. Mm, this is new, I think. I don't recognize this. But I don't want to take any lunar items I don't recognize because that could be very dangerous. Now, I could trade five items for a behemoth, and they're very good. Behemoths, basically, what they do is um, they make it so that every enemy explodes, like every shot explodes. But we have the chance of losing Bandolier, which is really good. We have the chance of losing Leeching Seed, which is really good. Um, they're the only two that I really care about too much. So I'm going to go for that. We lost... We didn't lose Bandolier or Leeching Seed. We lost one Fuel Cell, which is kind of sad, but Behemoth is really good. Right, so we have the option. Let's just go here, whatever this is. Dream of Serenity. I want to be using these as much as possible. Can I do anything with you yet? Can I, like, talk to you or anything? Sorry, friend. Right. Be on our way. Be on our way. So now we're into ICU difficulty, which is getting to the point where things are really hotting up. I'm really going to start taking a, a buttload of damage. But with the with the stuff that we just got and the fact that we didn't particularly lose any of our very important green items, like, what did we lose that was important? We lost... Um, in fact, we kept everything I was pretty happy with. We, we 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 lost not that much there at all. I think this is the new level, Sky Meadow, because I do not recognize it at all. I'm assuming there's maybe something we can do here. No, that was stupid. We do have some attack speed there. Um, how many white items do we have that are really important? Uh, we have quite a lot of good white items right now. In fact, I'm, I'm going to play this once. Yeah, I'm fine with that. 
Just the once. I'm not going to... Ooh, what the hell is that? That's new. That's new. Okay, so this is an active item uh, dispenser, I think. I'm happy with that. What the hell's that? Oh my god. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, that is new and scary and I do not know what to think of it. Oh my god. That thing's so creepy. What the hell is it? Oh my god. I don't like the look of it and it teleports. And these are these new two. These are new two. Mushroom boys coming at us. Oh my god, I am losing so much HP right now. I've got to be very, very careful here. There's a very great chance I could die considering... Why can I target that? For no reason, apparently. For no reason at all. Right. So, what do these mushroom boys do exactly? They fire some sort of homing explosives, maybe? Are they homing? I don't think they're homing. This glaive should wreck these guys. Close range here like this. You can see the explosive damage with the behemoth just doing a great job. And then these plants are helping us out too. This guy needs to go. Okay, we've got some enemies here that are a real problem. These these big guys causing some problems. Seems like the mushroom guys plant like little things on the floor that have become dangerous for us. So we've got to be careful about that. I'm, I'm glad we've got new enemies, though. New, new danger to worry about. We'll take care of you. The behemoth is doing so much extra damage now. I'm going to take you out and use your little healing pod. This item that plants the little fruits when you kill things is going to be so good for Engineer. Because Engineer is a lot of standing still. Right. We've got a lot of these. A lot of these. There's a lot of items I want. Oh my god. There's a big boy. There's a big boy. Um, right. Let's just keep on moving and grooving. We've got a blue one over there. Uh, seeing what we can find out. I'm sure there's some secrets to be discovered on this stage, so I want to find them. Let's take a chest, shall we? Get ourselves another rusted key, which is just crazy at this point. Come on now. Um, I want to get another one of these, because these are good. Thank God that didn't fall off. Ow, that's a lot of damage. We've got to be very careful about getting hit from those guys. Do not want to do a Shrine of Combat in the slightest, thank you. Um, I will I will take a big fat pass on that. Okay, we've got another big guy coming after us. M more healing on kill is great. I'll capacitate you. <gasps> oh my God, how did that happen? Got ya. Good, good, good. The big guys aren't actually too bad, but they're teleporting. I can see how some some characters that could affect very, very much. Another term, which we really don't need. I mean, extra money isn't bad. But you got to remember that the money doesn't just suck to us. Ooh, that's new. Receive flat damage reduction from all attacks. Wow. That sounds insanely, insanely useful. Wow, we want to be stacking those up. That's definitely new. Um, and yeah, we, we want as many of those as is humanly possible. A flat damage reduction... That's just, that's just great. That's so good. So, we're trying to make our way through and find some new stuff here. Really don't want to get hit by these at all. Um, meanwhile, trying to find all the chests. I'm just really keeping my eyes open because I'm so, like, convinced that this area, considering it's a new area, will have the new stuff we're looking for. So, I really want to pay attention. Maybe just beating this... <gasps> What? Oh my god, do not get hit by those rocks. Okay. Do not get hit by those rocks under any circumstances, people. Right, I want your uh, I want your little leafy thing. Thank you. Wow. Wowie, that's uh that's that's difficult to get through. Wasn't really expecting that, but all right then. Right, so, be very careful crossing this because we might get hit by a rock. 
It's kind of a cool little mini game, though. I like it. Just be very careful, as all. Uh, I don't think any of those are really good for us. Right. Get you. Oh, yes. Extra rockets. I do want to open this pod because there are some items you can get from these that are insanely good that I want. Do we not want that? Right. Healing drone seems appropriate around about now. Okay, so I think I've searched this entire area and I'm not really seeing anything particularly new. Let's go up here and see what's up here. I do want to take care of these guys very quickly. See what's up here. Anything particular apart from just another area to explore. Okay, this seems to be like a jump puzzle. I'm on board. I'm on board. There's an open chest up here. Which makes me suspicious. There's multiple open chests uh, opened chests up here. So not quite sure what that's about. But I imagine it's got something to do with one of these new things. Maybe if we do a certain set of actions, it activates a portal on this area. Oh, we found a rotted lockbox. That's nice. That's going to give us a good item. Or bustling fungus. Okay. Right, so there's a lot and a lot of open chests on this area. I'm just looking around the circumference of the area to make sure there isn't another secret hiding away. There's a chest up there that I want to open. 100% want to open that. Oh, that's just a deposit box we already opened. Goddamn. This seems to be some sort of stream that we can maybe take. Maybe it's hinting at something. So we'll, we'll head, up, head our way up here, I guess. We'll take care of these guys. Oh my god, the amount of discs we can throw is insane. Our burst damage is just crazy. Okay, so I'm not really noticing anything particular up here. Just to open this chest over here. Extra healing is always good. There's another big chest over there. More bustling fungus that we really just do not need. Another healing drone is great. Whip! Get away over here. That mushroom's embedded into the floor. Reminds me of the ones off of Dead Cells, actually. Like, they're really similar. And how they look, at least. Got ourselves another chest. Another Lunar Pod, which could contain something nice. I found a Merman. Brittle Crown, I would take, but I'm not going to because I'm a pussy. Uh, Brittle Crown, whenever we get hit, we lose gold. We gain more gold, sort of thing. It's risky. This is also decent, but not great. Plant a flower on um, on the teleporter. Which is a bit of healing while we're uh, fighting, which is nice. So I'm not really seeing anything in particular up here. Let's make our way all the way up here. All the way up here. What the hell is this? Missile repair drone. I'm fine for a missile repair drone. Thank you. I suppose we have the extra money. We probably should have done. All right. Good, good, good. Take care of them. I still don't know where the... <gasps> Salamander boy. No, thank you. I'll be running away from you. Thank you very much. Okay, so it seems to be hinting that we path up this way. I don't know if there's a specific way to ride the energy flow that that's sort of displaying. Or if that's just how this looks. But it seems to be trying to convince me to go this way. And I'm not sure if there's a specific rhyme or reason for that. Probably not. I'm probably just stupid. Um, it's weird that there's so many of the these uh, equipment dispensers. There's a lot and a lot of them. Still, though, we're, we're following the path of all these uh, all these opened item crates, which must mean something at least. Ow! Excuse me, sir. That was a that was a stonking big hit. Take care of you. Hmm. Maybe it's something to do with down there. Hmm. So. Let's make our way down here. Maybe this is nothing. Maybe I'm just stupid. But it looks like it's trying to convince me to go down here. Okay, let's just make sure we don't get followed by any real big boys. Okay, so this is kind of like a new area to the map. Again, still, still very much feels like we're uh, heading in the right direction. There's something down here, look. I'm going to open this, even though I don't need an active item, we could get one that's got a faster cooldown. 
No, that doesn't. That's, a, that's like the longest cooldown of the game. We need ones with fast cooldowns. Draw capacitor right now is by far the best for us. Okay, so we have found something down here. Whether this is what we need to be uh, need to be looking at, I do not know. But we'll uh, have a little look around and see what we can find, shall we? So we've got this thing over here. Is that anything? No. I'm just seeing if there's anything I can interact with. Seems to be some sort of farm of sorts. Producing something. Oop, oop, there you go, there you go. Submit formula. Oop, okay, it's spawning something up there. A boss, maybe? Um. Hmm. So, let's have a look, see. Okay, so, there's something I've got to do. Ah, ah, I see, I see, I see. Right, we need to take care of this guy first, because he's going to be a real big problem otherwise. Um. But I kind of understand now. We've got to put things in a formula. This is some sort of puzzle. Right, I really don't know how I'm going to deal with this guy. He's a big old pain in the chutney. Right, doesn't look as much else up here. Alright, come on, dude. What are you doing? Oh, for God's sake, can you really not spawn the worst enemies possible? Right here, sir. Thank you. Let's get up here and throw some discs at these boys. Get some discs on your wow, those discs do a lot of damage. Okay, he's almost dead now. As you can see, this is like a less ancient version of the one we just fought. Right, we got him. We got him. He's not going to be bothering us anymore. Right, so, we have some sort of formula to formula it. Um, I don't really know how we're going about this. So, what what do these do then? So, one. Let's let's do a line across the middle first. See how that works. Oh wait, maybe maybe there's a maybe there's a sequence to this. Right. Wait a minute. One second. Oh, okay. Uh, I see. I see. I see. So, we put square, 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 oopsie, square, square, and square, and that is the thing that's right on the board there, look. So, if we now use this, maybe this will give us what we want. Ooh, a portal. Portal has spawned. Right, let's get in there. We're, we're already into ha 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 difficulty, so it doesn't burn well. Enter the artifact portal. Let's see if we can get this complete. We may be way too late for this. We may be in a situation where this is going to be relatively unbeatable. We probably should have done our boss as well before we did this, but oh well. Um, hidden realm. Bulwarks. Ampery. Ambery. Okay, so that's obviously showing us what we need to destroy, maybe? Ooh, this is interesting. So, I'm guessing there's going to be regular enemy spawns, as normal. Or maybe it's once we start shooting this thing, it'll start spawning enemies. I don't know. Hmm. So, it highlights. So, I'm not sure. Let's, let's go around and, and open up some of these things first, see if that triggers anything. Oh, okay, there's something down here. Logbook. We want to be getting those logbooks. Right, jump up here. Okay, we've got quite a lot to go through here. It's surprising that there's chests here because it doesn't seem like there's much avenue to get gold. But that makes me that just makes me more suspicious that there's gonna be a bunch of enemies spawning here relatively soon. Wouldn't wouldn't it for you? Right. Okay, we've got an item over there that I didn't notice before. Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to start off with that item. Let's just make our way up this first. I know we spawned up here, but I want to just check over here. Might be something secret that I missed. There's something that keeps firing every now and again that I'm not noticing and whenever it does it. Right, let's pick up that item and see what happens, shall we? What item is this? What is it called? This is the artifact key. 
Right, so now if we drop down onto this, jump up through here, and then activate one artifact key. Okay, this has started spawning enemies now. So let's absolutely beeline it away into somewhere safe. And try and stay at a distance, shall we? Because this is probably going to be scaled to the difficulty that I thought it was. Uh, please don't hurt me. Ow. We've got a lot of enemies here. We've got a pretty strong build going, but I still think we're going to have trouble. Do we want to be destroying this thing specifically? Let, let's, let's just try this out. What are we doing here? Are we just defeating waves upon waves of enemies? Maybe that's the case here. Maybe it's like a, a, a trial by combat type thing. It seems likely, actually. Okay, let's sit up here. Just stay vigilant for the, 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 the bloody jellyfishes. Okay. Well, doesn't seem like his health is moving. <gasps> That's a big boy. Okay, we got to be careful for falling off as well. If he gets his fire breath off on me, I am definitely going to die. So I've got to be really careful about that. And I'm definitely going to die. Right, I need to sit on top of this. Okay, we got him. Thank God. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be... Okay, so it seems like one of each element, maybe. That seems to be the case. Let's, uh... Let's just stay the hell away until our ability is ready. Okay, good, good. Is there anything better in here, maybe? I can't remember. Okay, that's got a 45 second, uh, 45 second cooldown. Probably not the best for us. Right, I do want to check what's in this big chest here as well. Legendary. Healing past full grants temporary barrier. That's actually really good for us here. Um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I did not see him get that close to us. Okay, all of these guys need to go, please. My capacitor is taking so long to recharge. And now there's a glacial boy, too. This is just all types of terrible. All availables of the terrible are happening. Is he fully recharged his shield? God damn you, bitch boy. You need to go now. Right, let's try and just beeline kill him. Okay, there you go. That actually works. We got an item drop somewhere as well, I heard. Okay, there's something that keeps shooting me. I think it's the actual orb itself is shooting me. So I've got to be very careful about that. Okay, so that's the next wave done, I think. Right, let's jump up here. See what we've got next. Okay, we've got too many bad guys here. I definitely think we're going to have to do this earlier. Like, than we've done it this time around here. Because this is just going to be super difficult for us. Of my own doing. Okay, good. That's another seemingly wave done. I keep saying wave like it is an actual wave. I have no idea. I'm not being able to deal damage to this bloody thing, so I have no idea how this works. Have I got to run at it and attack it, maybe? It's all a learning process. I kind of assumed it would just be like, kill the enemies and he would eventually die. Wow. That was great bears damage there. So maybe I'll try it, run up to it and try attacking it. No. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So we did get an item. So we've got to use the keys on it. And a key does a certain amount of damage. So we've done one out of four keys. And there's another key there. So there's another one. And then, where was that other key? I just saw one. I just saw a key. Where was it? Maybe I bungled that up a little bit. Maybe I should have picked up both keys first. So it's going to spawn another harder enemy.
Okay, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die to fall damage. Plant, save me. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Uh, please, no! The fall damage! We're dead. We're dead. Oh, my God. Okay, so for next time, we know that we need to get there way quicker. Also, the hunt is probably not the best to do that with because just I just fell off all of the edges. Just fell off all of the edges. I really found it difficult to, uh, to go ahead and, and do good with her there. Oh, my God. It took me far too long to notice what was required of me there. I had two keys. I could have picked them both up and used them both. That would have been a good idea, but... Unfortunately, letting it get to the difficulty it got to and taking as long as it did was my demise. Either way, we know what we're doing now. We know what we're doing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know we're not going to get to see an artifact this time, but we'll make our way there. Do not worry. Um, next time, maybe I'll play as my favorite character, the Loader. Loader is just absolutely insane. He's by far my favorite. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.